What's up, Chase Buds? It's me, Brandon, and this is my beer. Well, this is my beer. So this is the Birdsong Brewing Company's Pink Robots, which is a sour. Uh, so it's actually a sour ale that is made with raspberries and blackberries. According to their website, it says it is brewed with raspberries and blackberry. As I just said. Our Kettle Sour Ale is bright, tangy, and delicious fruity, upfront berry aromics, and a lingering tartness come together for an easy drinking experience. Yay, tartness. That sounds fantastic. It won't take long to see why it's a fan and staff favorite. Even Yosemi would agree. I'm not sure who that is. Maybe that's a staff member. Pink robots can't be beat, apparently. As we all know, I am not a massive sour fan, or even a little bit of a sour fan, but uh, we gotta try them, let's see. I'm definitely getting more of the tart than the sour. It's not terrible, which if you're, if you're watching this, what was it again? Uh, Birdsong Brewery, if you're watching this, a sour getting a not terrible grading from me, it's actually pretty good. Don't love their sour, so that's, that's why we picked these up. So this episode, we are not giving out a sticker uh, because this was not recommended from anyone. If you're new here and you somehow stumbled upon this video, um, to get one of these Gamecock Eats Hold My Beer stickers, and I apparently got close enough to where it turned the light off, if you cannot see, which I cannot see, but I'm about half blind trying to record this. Here, to get one of the Gamecock Eats Hold My Beer stickers, the only way to do that is to recommend a cook. Can be a full meal, can be a side, can just be some wacky creation that you saw. Tag me in it, send it to me, and if I pick it, and do a video on it, you'll get one of those stickers. And that is the only way to get it. It'll never be for sale. I'll never give them out for any other reason. But speaking of the stickers, let's go ahead and still run that list of people that have recommended a cook that I have picked and they are the owners of those Hold My Beer stickers. Also, shout out to Rick Miller, who is the only one on both of these lists as he is still the dessert level on Patreon. My Patreon link is down in the description. And before we get into the cooking everything, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like, share with your friends in case they may enjoy my goofiness. So before we get too much further, let's go ahead and take a look to see what we are going to be making on this episode. So I'm going to put the link down in the description if you want to watch that full video. To be honest, there's actually two cooks on this video. And the second one was supposed to be what we were doing. But when I said it to Dawn, she only watched the first half of the video. I'm blaming her. And so that's why we're going to make this one. And we'll probably come back at a later date and do that, uh, that potato waffle sandwich that they make. See? That sounds cool, huh? Yeah. Probably better than this little side thing. 
So with all that out of the way, I'm hungry, so let's get to cooking. Hold my beer. And now it's time for my arch nemesis, the flip. You know, I did notice in his video, he never showed you his flip. Hmm.
got them all flipped. The skin wrinkled a little bit. I think we probably should have put a little bit more cornstarch in it. Uh, they were still a little soft, but by that time I, I was already patting them out. So it didn't go completely perfect, but I think the cook actually went pretty well, pretty close to uh, what his looked like. So now let's see how it tastes. Let me get some of that Gouda. Gouda what? Tastes like crunchy mashed potatoes with cheese. It's pretty good. Uh, so like I said earlier, probably a hair more cornstarch. Um, yeah, we, we just, we winged it a little bit because it did put it in grams and we were not going to measure everything out by weight. Um, so we did not have actual measurements when we were doing ours, although Dawn's not going to take credit for this one since it was, it was a fail, so I guess I have to say mine. But it's good nonetheless. Probably could perfect this a little bit more, and it would be really, really good. So, give me my beer back.